Hi everyone, Ruthie here. My friend Jackie is with me. She's sitting on the side of me. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> um, so we're going to dig into this box. Um, before we, be we begin, um, I'd like to say thank you to Tim. Um, you're a very nice, understanding, and to me, legit and awesome seller on eBay. I appreciate you for sending me the complimentary jar. Um, I, I understand that this is always a gamble. Um, I did get some nice pieces out of that. Um, and you live and you learn, you know? So it is what it is. And he was such a gentleman that he sent me this. We're gonna open it now. And yeah, it came fairly quickly. Um, the first one I got from him, it was packaged very nicely. I mean, he, he is a, he, I think he has like 99.9 .9, um, positive feedback on eBay. So, great guy. Here's his information on eBay. So it's lower class, lowercase T I M C A R, Tim Carr dash 5538. And you'll find him on eBay. Go check him out. He, he, from my understanding, he's just starting to sell um, jewelry jars and that. So please go check him out. Again, um, he's very good with emailing and responding. Um, if you buy something within 24 hours, you have the tracking number. And within a few days, you have your package. So that's the experience I've had. This is my second package with him. And again, this was the complimentary jar. So let's dig in, guys. I hope I just didn't show um, our addresses and stuff. I meant to um, block it out. All right, I am so excited. This is actually the first time my friend Jackie has been here. Um, while I'm doing jewelry. So this will be a fun experience. How's everyone's day going? Maybe 20 minutes ago I finished showing you guys um, the rest of the best stuff I got out of that huge jar from Tim. Packaged very nicely. A lot of stuffing and everything in there. Oh, this is a, actually a nice That's size sweet. jar. Wow. Okay, so here it is. Yeah. The, the huge one was packaged really nicely, too. All right, so that's that. All right. Let's see what we got. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe all his jars are unsearched and untested, okay? bring you down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Packaged very nicely. And like I said, I mean, he was so good with emailing back and forth, keeping in touch. From what I've experienced, everything he says is legit. If he says something is going to happen, it happens. Okay, we got another one. I love doing these because it's like, it's like Christmas. <laughs> it's like, a, you know. Oh my gosh, you guys. I seen this listed. I actually seen this listed and was hoping that he sent this to me. 
I can't remember why. There's a knife in here. Why is there a knife? In here? I don't know. But here's the thing with jewelry jars. Oh, it was because of this. I was telling my husband, actually, let me go grab it. Just last night, too, you guys. Hold on one second. I was just telling my husband how to make a trip. If we plant that jar, because in the big jar, look, here's the herring. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, there you go. We got a match there. All right, guys, let's start digging in here. Let's see what's happening. Oh, boy. Now, remember, this was complimentary, so. And I think he had this one listed for $59.99 or $69.99, one of them. Oh, my gosh. You can tell this tape has been on here for a very long time. Girl. <laughs> Some of these are hard. I am. The scissors don't even want to go through that tape. Some of this tape is like freaking... Like freaking uh, crazy glue. <laughs> Alright guys, here we go. What is this? Babbitt, hold on, let me get my loop. Babbitt, Babette Perfumes, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Them are the markings on it. There's like a little flower and stars and a moon. Seems, oh, this does open. Oh, it's like a little vintage powder thing. Hello. Because Ruth is doing a video and I'm sitting next to her. So that's cute. Here, I can move this jacket so you could... Um, okay, next item. Looks like we have a pair of earrings. Just costume. That's nice. Ooh, this is nice. Here's an earring. A lot of the earrings I'll put off oh to the God, side until the end. I'm just going to dump all this stuff you out. Need to say something. There's the jar. Thank you. Oh, man. Have this little box, all gold. That's pretty. Huh. I wonder if there's any marks or anything. Oh, there is. There's some writing in here. Victorian. What does this say? That's pretty. Yeah, it is. It says Victorian Li Library Collections. The Victorian Library Collections. That's what it says. Huh. I don't see any other markings. That's pretty. I don't know what them red stones could be, but okay, that's cool. Oh, here's another handmade bracelet. This actually has the tag on it. Paseo Amazana. Fine art and craft from the Amazon ba Basin. <clears throat> that's cute. This reminds me of, um, like, a piece that was made in India. 
Or it could be a different Indian tribe. I don't know. I have to look this up. Hey, Jackie, you want to Google this? What See what it says? What am I Googling? I, I don't have time to do all that, but oh my God, this is beautiful. All them little seed beads. You got orange, purple, black, green. Um, This word right here. Is that Paseo um, Amazana? Yeah. Okay, and I'll move to the next thing. Ooh, that's a pretty earring. This is a clip-on. So let's hope for the match to that. Oh, here it is. Woohoo! All right. So we got a match there. Them are darling. Um, that's glass. This is glass, and I believe these are plastic. Wait, that blue one is glass too, and the purple, but these are plastic. So some are glass and some are plastic. We're a cute pair of earrings. Here's a bracelet. Nothing in the inside, but it does have a little design there. I don't know if that's the maker's mark or it almost looks like Banana Republic. Let me see here. C98 or G? I don't know. I don't know what that is. But it's a clamper. has the black and blue and white enameling. That's not bad. Um, here we have a mother of pearl shell stretchy bracelet. That's cute. I haven't seen one like that before. What are you? This looks like a pendant. Has leather. Seed beads. Metal feathers. Like this right here. This is leather woven in there. And this one too, with seed beads. That's actually cute. Looks like a little dyed howlite. Yep. Or it could be a chunk of turquoise. No, it just don't look right. But yeah, that's cute. A little pendant. What are you? It has a bee, a crown. See, some stuff, you know, it's a gamble. That's different though. A watch, a quartz. Yeah, this is just going a watch lot. It feels kind of yucky. Persona, earrings, nickel free, gold tone. These are glass. I'm not cute. Has a price on it for $7.99. So new on new on card. And we're cute. Here's a brooch. Unmarked. I almost feel like glass. They have the 3D look to them. It's actually a nice brooch. Hmm. Surprised that it ain't marked. It almost has that scrolling in the back, like 1928. Okay. Oh my god, look at this big old crown. This is stuck in it. Oh gosh. How did that get stuck like that? Let me try to get this out of here. Look at that big old crown, you guys. Holy moly. Yeah, I got it out. This does have a lot of wear to it. But that's actually cool. Someone could repurpose this. This 
The beads at the bottom, the little rhinestones, have an AB coating. All the little pearls are all there. Nothing's missing on it. It's just the color is a little dingy. That's cute, though. It's a nice size. Okay, this necklace that was just uh, tied up in that. It's a gunmetal double strand. Plastic beads and framed. And it's a little statement piece. That's cute. Looks new without tags. Very light, not heavy at all. It's a nice little statement piece. All right. Ooh, look at this. Look, it has the same tape. Did you? I'm still oh, wow. trying. Fine art and crafts from Amazon Basin. Yes, I'm doing that in there. Wow, look at this piece. So it's from the rainforest, but I'm still trying to find out about the artist. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's too big for a necklace. Well, it could be a necklace, yeah. The Amazon Basan, or however you say it, that's in the in the rainforest, in, in the Amazon rainforest. Uh -huh. So that's what that is. But the it might be the type of tribe, Indian tribe. It's it's it's. Definitely some type of tribe, too. Wow. So this is red, white, and blue, and black, and purple. Well, the beads are, some are, it's like a, some are purple, and some are like a bluish purple. Look at that design. Wow, this is something definitely special. But I'm a little confused. Has a bead here, so that must latch on somewhere. I'm not sure. I have to look into this more. Um, but wow, that's nice. Here's the tag again. If anybody knows anything about this, I'm still looking it up. Please leave a comment or email me. I'm putting that off to the side. Here's another little seed bead. Oh, this is a bracelet. This is cute. It's tangled up some kind of way, though. My husband's good at fixing these, but look at this one. Look at all them little seed beads. I love the color combination. It can be di two different sizes, most likely a seven and an eight. Yep, seven and an eight. Has the two loops for the sizers and a little bead to lock it in place. Keep that off to the side as well. Here's another one. Oh, I bet you this is Chico's. Yep, this is a Chico's. Awesome. This is very, very beautiful, very organic. Look at the um, fixings. Let me put this. It has a nice size uh, extender. So here's the end caps. How pretty is them? And you have all these different beige and browns. and Oh, look, there's even a strand of rhinestones in there. How beautiful is that? There's a strand of metal, silver chain links, a couple of them, and the rest are all seed beads. That's very pretty. You could double that easily. So that's nice. That's a Chico's. Everybody's going nuts about Chico's right now. Uh oh. Hold on, I dropped something, guys. Oh, that's pretty. That is a, not marked, looks like the little pin back here, no it's not broke, 
It is a little discolored right in the middle of the pin. Here's the back, and there's the front. Nothing's missing. A little dainty little brooch there. That's cute. Looks like an Avon piece. Here's another pair of earrings, VM. I don't know if that's supposed to be on there. Eight dollars. And they're little, um, almost like a garnet and a pink. Garnet color on the top and the pink on the bottom. Oh, I forgot to share with you guys, out of the big jar, this ring. It's 10 karat gold. It is marked right there, 10 karat. And that's a garnet. That's a little garnet. So that came out of that jar, too. Um, where were we? Okay, these earrings. Not marked. Look brand new. So, them are pretty. Right, Jackie? Look. They look cute. Yeah. All right. So that's that. Here's another pin. Vintage. This little plastic cabochon pearl. And these little chains hanging down. Everything's there. A lot of people like these because they'll hang their sun their glasses, their eyeglasses or something from that. Here's the back. That's cute. That's a nice little vintage piece. Uh, looks like we got tangles. What are you? You're a little butterfly. Let me see, where's my magnet? Okay, that's not any precious metal. So, it's a butterfly pendant with pink little rhinestones. That's still cute. Here's the back. That's cute. Cute little pendant. There's a, another tripped out looking necklace. What the heck is going on here? This is kind of confusing. Oh. Kind of confusing. We're almost done with this jar. All right, there we go. I think it was supposed to have a tag, but it has silver, gunmetal, Gunmetal, red, red, silver. All these different chains, multi chains. And then it goes down and it has this hook to it. So something must hook onto that. Or I'm sure you could take that off. Yeah, I'm kind of puzzled on this. But it's a cool multi strand necklace. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. This is glass. This is all glass. I'm gonna have to check it with with Pressy to make sure. No, this is all glass. There's no clasp, so it's an infinity. But check this out. Let me move this arrow. Look at these. Oh my God, are them pretty? Wow, this is really pretty. Look at this, Jackie. This is pretty. Mm -hmm. Look at them beads, girl. Ooh, wee! I like that. That is pretty. Yeah, I think that's my favorite piece so far. A lot of little bits to go through, guys. That is pretty. This is, it's all glass. 
and crystals. So pretty. I like that. We're going to wear this. Oh, you know what? It, yeah, it doesn't have a clasp, so you can't double it. Unless you're really little and tiny and skinny and all of the above. I wonder, let me, where's my... This gold on here looks interesting, guys. So the thing I'm going to have to check this gold. I'm going to have to check that so gold. It's, this is basically just like a company, and then what they have, I found on here, this, and it's similar to, there's other things too, look. Oh, can I show them? Yeah. So there's like, so that's like similar to all this stuff okay. that you found. So the company on the tags for this jewelry is right put here. It, in jewelry. it was a big search for me. Yeah. Here's one of their pieces, and that was 76 marked down to 61. Go up, there's more up. Wow, look at that piece. That's 61. Everything's on sale. Looks like that. Looks similar too. Right? Yeah, that looks similar. 61. Looks like they're all 61 or 62 bucks. Very interesting. There's some pretty, did you see that turquoise one? Yeah, that's, that's pretty. That's beautiful. How much is that one? 57. Wow. I have a lot of tur You like turquoise? I got a lot of turquoise jewelry. Yeah, just, Real turquoise. Yeah, um. So yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Keep them to the side. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to have to check the gold on here, guys. It's not magnetic. Um, all right. Let's get this knife out of here. There's a knife in here. I'm tripping on that. Stainless china. It's black. And it's all... looks old. It looks sharp. I think there was a spider painted on that. Very thin. But it's a knife. Okay. I want to see that. Oh, here's the earring. Here's the match. What, this? The bracelet, yeah. Oh, that has the same name, too. Okay. Um, I'm thinking that these earrings go with this. So, we have a match. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, these. Oh, these are marked. There's a marking on this one. Where's my loop? Where did I put it? There's an earring down here. Okay, these are marked. Mexico. There you go, folks. Mexico. Oh, that's really pretty. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't want to dangle earrings. My... All right, cool beans. Oh, yeah, you can't wear very heavy earrings. Because look at my ear. No, if you see how they look at my finger. Look at the earrings. Do you see how they like, you know what I mean? The holes, even? So it like pulls and oh, down yeah. even more. So yeah. that's why I just wear it like these. Because I wore such heavy earrings for so many years. Yeah. I'm going to be 52. That's why these, these are light as a feather. But I can't wear heavy ones. Okay, so. Vintage little clip-ons. All right. Um, I don't think this is any precious metal. I will check it. But it's almost like the heart that was in the other jar. It's a little keepsake pendant. Open it up. There you go. Yep, little keepsake pendant. Lock it back up. There you go. So that's cute. Alright, now we have a whole bunch of little stuff. Here's a necklace. Just costume. Definitely looks in good shape. 
except for the clasp. The clasp is the only thing that has wear to it. And this reminds me of an Avon. Oh, there's a little safety pin. Oh, it fell. I think this. Oh, yeah, that's an ankle. Well, you could use it as a bracelet or ankle bracelet. I was wearing them the other day because that one up there I was going to give to my Auntie Cheryl, and then she passed away. Yep, I was going to give that to her. I was going to mail it to her. So that's a cute necklace. Oh, thank you. That's what fell. Yeah, look at this inky deaky hoop. That's definitely silver. I know it. So we're going to put that earring to the side. Oh, I bet you there's been stuff falling out of here. Um, what is this? Here's a little piece to something. Probably an earring. Oh my god, look at this. Don't it almost look like a saxophone? <laughs> okay, so I said I know I didn't like uh, dangly earrings, but I want these. Oh, then you'll really like the ones. Here. Oh, let me show well, you know me, let I me show the viewers Excuse quick. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, but wait till you see the other ones I got. Those are adorable. So Jackie likes these. These are wood. And these would actually look cute with that too. Can I see one of your flip flops? Look. That's not a coincidence, folks. <laughs> this all happens for a reason. Um, These are in very bad shape. Very bad shape. So, I will harvest some for the crystals or the rhinestones in there. Yeah, but are those silver? No. I, I know silver. These are not silver. No. Okay. You can even see the copper. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nope. But I will Probably, uh, harvest maybe. these, the stones, and I'll harvest the backs. They're actually nice hoops, but they're all worn. Well, these are old. Oh my god, they're clip on. These are old. Wow. These are old. Very pretty, too. They're copper. Them are old. Those are cool. That design on them. It goes with this. Oh. Yeah, a little. Yeah. You could wear that together. Oh yeah. Um, here's a infinity little earring. <clears throat> hmm. Let me see. Where did I put my loop? Bear with me, guys. Yeah, no. That's just costume, and it has wear. Um, that's a cute little earring. Look at the bead on that. With the gold speckles. That, cute with this too. that looks like a shell. That looks like a shell. No precious metal. Here's the other bracelet. I haven't shown you guys yet. And this too has that maker. So, hey, hey, I got homework from to do. The, from the rainforest. She said they come from the rainforest. These are like a rose gold. Very dirty. They're either dirty or very worn. Them are gorgeous. Nothing's missing either. That's pretty. Oh, another one of these pins. So we have a duplicate. One of these little earrings. There's the other one. Isn't this just a show? This one? Yep. Here's the match. We got the match to that. Them are little vintage earrings. This is a little cross, silver tone. Don't feel like nothing. No, it's not. A little faux pearl. Um, oh, these are cute. I think these are Avon. It's a little ch cherry. Them are plastic. Okay, that is marked. And usually when they're marked right there, it's Avon. 
Yep. So this is Avon. That's a little vintage. Oh, and here, these are the kind where you can take the cherries off and just wear that if you like. Just the little leaves. So it depends on how you feel that day. And here's the match. Woohoo! I'm happy about that. That's a that's a nice pair of earrings to have. Because Avon is coming back. Like pant like hot cakes. Yep. Girl, I've got about a hundred of these. You want you need one? Yeah. <laughs> that's a cute one too. So I'm gifting this right now to my friend Jackie. Little guardian angel pin. Vintage. She's praying too. Her hands are together. Here, if you want to use the loop to really look at the detail. Um. Ooh, that's a pretty earring. I think them pearls are real, guys. I do believe. Oh, one just came off. Are you kidding me? Ooh. Oh. I can't lose that. Oh, that sucks. Soon as I put it down, one came off. Oh, I hate when that happens. All right, we're 36 minutes in. Stay. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> I got to put this somewhere. There. Um, that's a pretty little earring costume. Man, I don't see the other one in here. That's a cute earring. White little cabochons. These are all little beads right here going down. And then all these little sea bead tassels. Oh, I wonder if I actually did come across this in the other bag. I mean, the big jar. I don't know. I'm going to set that aside. Okay, here's this pair. These are metal. These are actually cute. Look at these, Jackie. Well, you like more of the Kruger, the more of the circle. And like, look at this earring. I can't remember if I have these um, from the other big jar. Here's a belly button um, earring. Which I will clean that up and I can wear that. Most of the time these are silver, but, or at least surgical steel. So, them are cute little pink stones. I'll check them with uh, my gem tester, see if they could be like sapphires or something. Never know. Gotta test everything. So, show them where it is. Here's one of them rings. Aww. So, she's like me. She loves coach. So, her little coach tag, she put her guardian angel right on her so coach tag. So, she's always with her. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Here's one of them rings. Another earring. Um, what is this marked? That's silver. There's my loop. What does this say? Something foley, folly. Oh, my God, Kim. I don't know, guys. I don't know what that tag says. No, I don't think this is silver. Oh, maybe. Just the way it's maybe. Just the way it's tarnished. You use one of those yeah. polishing things. You get tricked sometimes. I actually have an acid test. I'm gonna. I'll test this at the end, guys. What is this? Something stuck in there. Okay, um, 
so it has these little glass crystals and then it goes down into a dangle where is that right there it is so it's kind of like a y necklace so that's cute we'll have to test that because it's not magnetic here's oh that's a cute little ball earring Here's a clip-on claws and a earring clip-on. I actually have a pair almost just like this, but they're pierced. Yep. Here's a rose gold earring made to look vintage. Oh, there, oh, Avon. It's marked on the back Avon. This almost looks like a moon glow. So that's a pretty earring. Let's see if we have the other one. Oh, here it is. Woohoo! That makes me happy. That's a cute pair of earrings. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Um, Here's a match. These are silver tone little hoops with like a brush metal look. Not precious metal. Here's fashion. Here's a broken necklace. Not precious metal. I'm trying to find matches now. Oh, here's the other earring. There's the other one. What is this? I don't know, man. It has the end for like a clasp. And then this side has an end with a little ring on it. But what is that supposed to be? Not an earring. Maybe an extender? I don't know. I'm puzzled on that one. Here's a little keychain thing. Here is a little doggy pendant. It's kind of rough on the edges though. Oh, he's missing an eye too. He's a one-eyed doggy. Uh-oh. One-eyed doggy. Here's a bits and piece. Has one of them vintage clasps though. So that would be nice to repurpose. Here is a was well, definitely not precious metal. Um it's the kind that clasps in the front. Can't see it. Toggle clasp in the front. Has a little sure. lock on there. This lock is heavy duty. That's actually cute. It's just a little costume piece. Like that. It's in great shape. And then just toggle it in the front. And there you go. Um, ooh, gold stone. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a pretty clip on. Not marked. Very light though. Very light. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Wish I had the other one. This is a pretty earring too. It's copper. I like the design on it. Here's the back. The post got a little bent, but that's okay. And not really seeing the match. Here's a Hannah. Is that what it's called? Hannah, Hannah, hand. What are them called? Hannah, Hannah hand. There you go. It's not marked. 
Is that markings on there? This might be silver. The post is magnetic. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh no, them are just ridges to keep the back on. And right off bat, right off hand, I do not see the match, but it could pop up. I hope so, because that's cute. All right, here we have a faux pearl. This can't even be a bracelet because there's no clasp. There's no clasp, but it has this hanging from it. Mother Mary and Jesus. Mother Mary holding Jesus. And then this cross. So most likely this is just a handheld rosary. A piece to it. The rosary there. Oh, that's weird. No, I have a lot of handheld ones. I don't know. I have the like the longer one. Yeah, yeah. They also have the handheld ones. Um, can't quite see. So our guardians, I think it says. Oh, Chris is home. So yeah. Um, faux pearl. That's cute though. Oh, here's the other earring to this. Hi, honey. Jackie's here. You know what? Let me see what these. Do these earrings say anything? Yeah, they do, but I think Avon. Um, here is, oh, another one of them, but the ball is missing. Might be in here somewhere. Here's another cute little bow earring. Um, oh my goodness, look at these, and they're put together. Look at these. The little hearts with wings, and they look like they're copper or brass. I don't know, they have like that antique look, vintage antique look. So that's a little pair. Them are cute. So that's a cute pair. Oh, I have this from the other jar. So we have a match to that. Here's a back to a pin. Um, here's another little earring. A clip on. It's in bad shape though. Crafting. Here's a little black clip-on, but it's in bad shape. Another little black plastic clip-on. I have this other earring from the other jar, which is cool because it is a, what was it? Oh, a Sarah Cove. Sarah Coventry. Silver tone clip-on. So I have the match to that. Um, here we have the match to this. I don't know if this is glass or ceramic. But what I like is it has them all that little gold swirling in there. That's cute. There's a little inky dinky earring. Oh, we found the bow. So we got a pair there. Need to put all the pairs to the side here. I'm using the my bottom of my laptop here. Um. Oh, look at here. It's a little foot. Um. A little key earring. We are almost done, guys. We are almost done. This is cute. I wish I had the match to that. That's cute. Um, here's an earring with an N. Don't know what it's supposed to be for. Almost if, is it a college, a school? I don't know. 
has a little riding stone. Um, what is this? Looks like it was a pendant. What is that? Looks like a little spool of something, like rope or... I don't know. That's weird. There is a marking. M B. M as in Mickey and B as in boy. I don't know, that's different. Here's another earring. I thought I found this one. Here's a pair. Oh, here's a pair. I thought I found that one. Okay, the first pair. I'm surprised these aren't marked unless I'm not seeing it. But it's a brushed gold metal. Filigree. It's like a weaving, like a basket weaving. They're more cute. Gold tone. Here's another pair. These are silver. These look silver to me. And that's turquoise. These are clip ons. So we got that pair. Look at these, Jackie. And just the craftsmanship, if you look at the craftsmanship on these, it's good quality. And I'm almost 100 per Oh, maybe not. But is there something in there that could be made? You know what? We're going to be testing that necklace, so we'll test that too. Oh, and this earring. Didn't I say I had the other one? Yeah, right here. Okay, so we have this pair. I'm surprised these aren't marked. Alright, so we have them. Beautiful cutie patooties. Come on, Ruthie. Them are precious. Um, what else? There's a whole lot of little inky dinky stuff in here. I have no idea what, what this is. That's supposed to be a clip-on little enamel flower. But look at the back. Never seen one like this before. That looks gold too. What the heck is that supposed to be? Yeah, now that I open it up, that's not gold. So that might be a clip-on, I'm not sure. Oh, these are, this is one of them earrings. Here's the back, and it's got that little dangle connected to it. And then you can put an earring through that. Let me show you an show you a example. I'll show you an example. Okay, so you have this little stud earring. See that little pearl? And you just stick that in there, and then it would be like that. So that's cute. Trying to see if I there's a lot of them like that. Here's another one. Oh, here's the match to that little one. Okay, so that's cool. You and you can wear almost almost any kind of stuff with them. Here's another one with the long. Here's the match. And you can hang something at the ends there. These, I think, have a mark on them. Avon. So them are a couple vintage Avon pieces. That's cool. Um, Here's a necklace. This is Mark 925. And it's one of them um, beaded necklaces with the little round beads. The extender has a knot in it, so of course my husband will do that. <clears throat> and the clasp here is Mark 925. So hey, I could always use a nice 925 chain. Have enough pendants. 
so that's cool. And as you see, it's not magnetic. It does have a little bit of pull, but we all know that that doesn't mean anything. As long as it's not super magnetic. Um, guys, there is so much little, little inky dinky stuff. I'm trying to see, we do have a match on that. Here's another little, um, um, belly button piercing. Just don't have the ball, which I probably do. Uh oh. See, <clears throat> I have holes on the sides of these boxes, and I didn't realize that. A lot of stuff is falling out. That looks silver. A little heart. Yeah, a lot of stuff is over here. Fell out. A lot of backings to earrings. And this almost looks like a Kendra Scott. Um, It's not, but almost looks like a Kendra Scott design. Um, Here's the match to that cross. So that's a match. Here's a match to that heart, so that's a match. We have the match to this also. Um, this is very worn and discolored. We have a match to that. Yeah, a lot of these inky dinky stuff. Here's a pair of earrings. But there's signs of wear to them, which kind of is a bummer. Them are cute hoops. And I know that ain't silver. Nope. So, a lot of this stuff is going to crafting. Here's an earring. Just a lot of earrings, guys. Here's another belly button piercing. And, of course, something's missing. But it's missing the ball. Long as you have one ball, you're all good though. Because you can change them out. Um lot of bits and pieces. Here's a match. Here's the other one. Here's a cloisonne clip-on. Wish I had the match to that, but there's no match. <clears throat> Here's another one of them backings where you just add an earring to it. Um, I believe we have the match to this. Little pink plastic. Here's a match. Like a neon green. These are wood. A lot of earrings. A lot of little inky dinky stuff. Um... Here's an earring. We do have a match to that one. Little clip-ons, dangles. These are cute. Wish I had the other one of that. Them are cute. If I can get a hold of it. My fingers are filthy dirty. That's cute. Wish I had to match. 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 What else? That's a tongue ring. I could I could wear that too. Of course it would get sanitized. There's a lot of these little um, studs, and a lot of times them will be silver. Like that one doesn't really have a pull. I mean, it has a little pull, but not where you can actually pick it up. Because a lot of stuff, you got to be careful. It have a little bit of a magnetize to it, but it'll be real silver. There's a cross. All right, guys, just a bunch of other little inky dinky stuff. Oh, that's that's real. 
that's a little um forgot what that's called that might be silver and I'm not seeing a match to that which is really bummy okay all the rest of these guys I'm gonna go through off camera it is just so much little inky dinky stuff so yeah um, once I get all this stuff matched up and I go through what find out more information about these and everything um, and then we have these earrings that I want to test and this necklace that I want to test for silver other than that um, I mean not bad I'm you know didn't find anything precious metal wise right Jackie, you don't recall me finding anything. The only closest is the, these earrings that were marked Mexico. But definitely got a few nice items out of this jar. Um, especially this. This is pretty cool. Can't wait to look this up and everything. And the gold. It's like, like if I just went to the store and bought it. It's nice. All right, guys, we're going to end this for now. Oh, and also this, too. I have to check the gold on here. Because that just very might, well might be gold. We'll see. This right here is my favorite. This is my favorite piece of the whole jar. Um, oh, this was 925. Um, yeah, other than that. A lot of nice pieces. Um, I was able to give a couple gifts away to my good friend here. And uh, yeah. I'd like to thank Jackie for stopping over and visiting. And saying hi to everyone. Um, thank, thank you everyone for watching. Always supporting. And all to all the newcomers. Welcome. And if you could. If you go down below here on your screen. You'll see a word. In red um, coloring spells out subscribe if you could just touch that and support my channel I'd appreciate it I could use more subscribers trying to build my circle here um, and there's a bell up above the word subscribe if you hit that bell every time I put out a video you'll get notified and then over here on the screen you'll see a thumbs up and a thumbs down make your decision if you enjoyed me you give a thumbs up if not give a thumbs down hopefully you don't give a thumbs down all right i'll see you at the next video bye toodles